the power is in your tongue. The main reason why society is in such a sick state is because we're constantly casting spells on ourselves daily without being aware of it. You see, when we first start school, one of the first things we're taught is how to spell. This was the beginning of the large spell casting that's going on in society. You see, think, the, think of the teachers as the wizards, us being the students, and our pens and pencils being the wand. This is how we cast spells. We wake up in the morning and we say, good morning, without realizing it's an oxymoron. How can morning be good? Because one morning has a U on paper, but verbally, it's the same word. What does morning mean? Morning with the U means to grief or whole sorrow over the passing of a loved one. We wake up in the morning. As we go on and pay closer attention to the English language, we notice that there are many words that are associated with death and just a lower nature of humanity. Good morning, wake up. All of this wake, what is awake? That's related to a funeral. How do you wake up? Think about this. Listen to the words you're casting spells with through a different pair of ears. Listen to what you say. We wake up in the morning to have a good morning. Let's shift the consciousness to cast positive spells upon each other and ourselves. Let's rise up. Great awakening. Rise up. Words carry frequencies. Words carry energy and the powers within your tongue. It's up to you to become conscious and shift these words that have subliminal meanings, not even subliminal, actual meanings relating to death daily. We can't expect a great life when we talk about death, consciously or unconsciously. Just because we're unconscious of it does not mean we're casting a spell. There's many words that go into this American English language that is meant to keep us in this trapped state of mind, this state of mind that we're in fear without even realizing it. Good morning has become the norm and people don't even hear how, I guess, crazy that sounds because it's normal in society. And remember, just because something is normal in society does not mean it's normal or not normal. <laughs> doesn't mean it's acceptable or the best because it's done by a large group of people. You know, I get weird looks when I used to go into the office and be like grand rising, great awakening instead of good morning. Like... Just take a look around in society and listen to the energy when people say, good morning. It's like, morning, morning. That sounds like you're mourning at a funeral. Wake up, wake up. Your alarm woke you up. Who likes alarm clocks? Said we shouldn't go back to our circadian rhythm and rise up. There's many words, there's many words. Even major places such as Hollywood. Switch, play with the words around. Holy wand, Hollywood, holy wand, Hollywood. That's where the magic happens, right? <laughs> and it's not a coincidence that if you rearrange the words words you'll get swords you'll get sword and 
in this age of society where where everything's politically correct words actually hurt people i remember i grew up in the age where sticks and stones may break my birds but words may never hurt me now it's words are literally violence it's not a coincidence that words switched around is sword words do hurt people this is how cyberbullying happens. This is how bullying happens. And I was a victim of bullying. Like words carry energy. It's not just about fuck you and all that. It, there's a tone to it. There's a tone to it. And evil live. Devil lived. Pay attention to the English language and what you say you are is what you truly are. If you say you're bad, if you say I can't do this, then you actually can't. You spoke that spell into existence and it's not that you can't think you do it. You casted the spell upon yourself and said you can't do it, which is why you can't. If you believe you could do something, you could do it. This is why we're taught how to spell. This is why we're taught spelling and cursive. And what do they tell you in school? Not to curse. It's such a it's such an ironic game when we see the word fuck as a curse word, but mourning is not a curse word. When mourning could actually do more harm than the word fuck depending on the context that was used. So I'm Guyanese and we typically don't say the word, we, don't, we typically don't say, we, some of us say morning, but we greet each other with good day. I think the Australians say good day as well. I think Germans say good day. It's in American English where we use these curse words. Yes, I said curse words to greet each other. And in certain Arabic countries, I know even in France, they greet each other with kiss. And all of this transfers positive energy. When we say good morning, this is, it doesn't really transfer any type of energy. It's just a flat statement or someone will say it in such a dull voice that it's like it's the purpose of even greeting me and it's all about just being conscious of what we're saying and how we greet each other because words cast spells and the situation you're in right now is not because of the external forces outside of you it could be what you're projecting out because what you project out is what's inside of you. As within, so without. We create our own reality. This is it at More Studios. So I never disclaim this, but MORE is an acronym for manifesting our own reality. And that's the truth. We, man we are our own magicians. We are our own magicians. We are our own alchemists. And the power first starts with the tongue. What you speak with the tongue, the mind and the body will follow. Either consciously or unconsciously. Saying you can't do something, you won't have the drive or the energy to do it. Saying you will do something, you're subconsciously programming yourself to want to do it or get it done. Like if you tell someone you will do something, if you're a person of value and you uphold what you say, you're a person of your word, you will actually do it. Despite if you don't want to or if you want to or not, you will do it. Starts here, starts here. So the next time you rise up, think about what you want to manifest. Think about the energy you want to put out and think about the energy that you want 
to come back to you. This is the first step in transforming your life. It's the power of, it's the power of positive thinking. And once we shift our consciousness and our tongue into a more higher frequency, everything else will follow. That's how we really change our life. And when we start, stop calculating time and you feel like there's not enough time, that's when we get more time actually, because time is just a man-made concept. You see, we calculate stuff in time to be to be more organized on paper and if you think about it we time goes by days of the week days of the week d a z e of the week w e a k by the end of the week you feel weak which is why you're happy on the weekend Transform your thinking. Because if you consider yourself weak, then you are weak. This is the first step. The power is in the tongue. I could go on all day about the hidden messages and these words we say every day. And we have to create our own lingo. Stop using this lingo another person gave us because it's meant to control us the people that are giving us these words they don't even speak this way they want you to be an outlier and like if you speak differently it's set up for the people in the matrix to point you point at you and make fun of you so you could keep using the tongue they gave you create your own tongue Every day could be a weak end. This is a weak end. End your weakness right now. End your weak right now. You go into some cubicle, to some person, some shitty job you don't like, just to wait for the weak end. You're being weak. The math is not adding up right for you, but you're still choosing to go into that job weekly. And then don't talk about the jobs that get paid bi-weekly. Bi-weekly. That one week you don't get paid, bye. I'll see you next week. The power is in the tongue. They want you to think like fuck, shit are curse words, but you're cursing every day. Change the tongue and you'll change your mind. Change your mind and you'll change your life. More studios out. Get the book right now, The Cage Bird Still Flies out on Amazon. Link in the bio. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Be well and watch what you say. More studios out.